everybody, welcome to Ram TV and welcome back to my LB18 franchise in the New York Mets. This is episode 23. So if you guys aren't caught up, look for a playlist in my channel. And if you're new, subscribe and click that notification bell to be basically told when we come out with a new video. And if you like what you see by the end of this video, smash that thumbs up button. I'm trying to get at least uh, three to five likes for this video and leave any comments below. I'm gonna say it again, like with every video, you guys might code GMs. If you're new, uh, basically, um, I want you guys to tell me what you think I should be doing uh, with the team. Uh, moving people in the batting lineup, calling people up, trading people, releasing, and all that fun stuff. Um, and here we are for this June 2nd game. Uh, we are tied with the Cubs for this four game series. Uh, this is game three of four. Uh, we're going to have Kyle Hendricks, who's four and three. Uh, with a 3.6 ERA against Steven Matz, who's, three point, uh, who's 4 and 3 with a 3.5 ERA. Um, Cubs right now 33 and 23. They're a pretty good team for the uh, NL East or NL Central. And uh, we're going to try to just stop them in their tracks here. And um, hopefully we can come out with this win. Uh, let's, check the, let's check out the lineups for the Mets as we. I got 85 jerseys. I love those jerseys. If anyone needs a rest, I think we should be okay. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the field. All right, here we are with Stephen Matz again. He's four and three. This is his 12th start. Looking to get his fifth one of the season. Um, not striking out many, but not giving up a lot of hits either. So hopefully this lefty gets to see it against this tough Cubs lineup. Three and two to Javier Baez to start the game. That's a swing and a miss with a fastball. Out number one, start the game. Let's take a look at the Cubbies lineup. He is not happy that he swung at that. Um, so let's take a look at the lineups for the Cubbies. We got Javier Baez, followed by Alberto Amora Jr., Chris Bryant, Anthony Rizzo, Wilson Contreras, Ian Happ, Jason Hayward, Kyle Hendricks, and Addison Russell. Um, right now, Chris Bryant's leading the slugging percentage for the Cubs at 5.99. We double play ball out at second, out at first. That is an inning ending double play for Steven Matz. He put two men on, but was able to get out of that little jam. That's a swing and a miss to get Addison Russell out. The run is in scoring position, and that is the end of the second. Jay Bruce hits it up the middle, and it's going to be pushed for a double. They were playing him to pull. But it hits the, out, the outfield fence. And that is a standard double for Jay Bruce. Finding a hole between uh, second and shortstop. And then the center and the right fielder. What an interesting play off the mound. And it just bounced over there. I don't think the right fielder was really suspecting it. Jay Bruce getting on second. This is look for Steven Matz. Look to drive in at least one run. It's right to the pitcher. That ends the inning. Oh, there's that patent play the patented hit and run. Rosario's gonna turn third, and he's gonna be waved home, and he is safe. That is an RBI single for Astrubal Cabrera. Had the hit and run on. The defense was unable to recover, and with Rosario's speed, he was able to turn second, third, and then home. And that is launched to deep center field. That is a home run for Jonas Cespedes. That is the 16th of the year. That is a no-doubter. Driving in, Asubo Cabrero going 448 feet. Uh, again, that's a 16th home of the year. That's a two-run shot. Making the lead 3-0 here in the third inning with one out. The MVP considerations for our Ioannis Cespedes is still there as he launches another one over the fence. Take a look at our replay here. As soon as contact was made, everybody knew it was gone. The seven line cheering. Hit into that upper section there, which is the original home run area for the Mets. Oh, 
That is a home run for Anthony Rizzo, making it 3-1. to one. That's his 10th home of the year, going 437 feet. That was out of here. Not even a doubt. Let's take a look at our replay here for the Cubbies. Boom. It was a changeup in. And he knew it was gone. That gets Addison Russell frozen. That was a full count. I don't think he was paying attention. So now it's two outs. Bases loaded here in the fourth. And that's a swing and a miss. Getting Baez on that changeup. Steven Mass is able to get out of that bases loaded situation. Getting back to back strikeouts. Full count. Wilson Contreras. Your base hit and might drive in. Uh, Rizzo. Jonas throws home and he is safe. Oh, that was such a close play. That's a gutsy play by Rizzo. As he's able to beat Yoannis' throw by just a millisecond. That's an RBI single for Wilson Contreras. OJ Bruce launches one to right field. This is going to be an upper deck shot. And it's out of here. That is a solo home run for Jay Bruce going 411 feet. That is his 11th of the year. And the lead is now 4-2 to two Mets here at the bottom of the 6th. Just with, just with Steven Matz and the Mets needed a little bit of padding into the lead as that guy's doing a weird dance there. As he reaches home, let's take a look at our replay. No doubter for Jay Bruce. Showing his power to right field. Oh my gosh, that's a solo shot given by Seth Lugo. And it's going to be... Four to three here in the seventh. That's uh, Almora Jr.'s sixth home of the year, going 411 feet. I was going for a changeup on the outside, and I guess I couldn't get a hold of it, and I sent it to the inside, and that was out of here in a hurry. Oh my goodness, this could be a back to back home runs, and it's out of here that is back to back home runs for the Cubs and it ties things up giving Steven Masson no decision Seth will go oh my goodness come on man oh what a catch by Yoannis as he reaches for that play saving Robles' butt man Yoannis really covered a lot of ground I was actually going to play it off the ball, but Jonas was able to reach for it. And that is a Struble Cabrera driving to deep right field. Is he the hero of this game? And it's a walk off for a Struble Cabrera. Back to back games or back to back episodes where he is the hero of the game offensively. As he sends everybody home happy and seven line is going crazy. The entire stadium is going nuts right now. Isn't this the irony in my season that in real life Asrubo Cabrera is not even in the in not even on the team, but now he's killing it in my in my franchise here. And that was a moonshot. Cabrera able to get a hold of it. Here in the 14th. I guess that strikeout in the, against the Rizzo really got them going. As the Mets win 14 innings, 5-4. to four. The bullpen was actually able to hold up minus uh, this cough off by Lugo. Giving us two solo shots. Uh-oh. Oh, I thought they were going to give him a... Uh, a uh, Gatorade bath, but good game by Struble Cabrera. So 
the winning pitcher will be Blevins after the two strikeouts in the 14th inning. What a game for the Mets. Wow, I'm just speechless, but the thing that sucks is that they have another game coming up soon and my entire bullpen is pretty exhausted. Um, so we're just going to sim this game. And uh, that is. Okay, for uh, Chris Bryant up. Alright, I'm gonna let the computer deal with this one. And we. Oh my god, we blew it. We ended up losing 7 to 4. No. I'm gonna utilize. Are right, we gonna send this game against uh, the Orioles? Alright, we won. So AJ Ramos gets a win, 2 and 1. Take a look at the uh, box score here. Uh, 40 minutes. Who do we got? We got Travis Darno with a home run. Uh, Jay Bruce and Wheeler also drives and run for them. So then it is uh, AJ Ramos' win, as I said. And we're going to have no Snigar against Andrew Kashner. Uh, let's see who wins this. And Mets win 8-1. Uh, to one. And let's take a look at the box score for this game. So they beat... We're a sweep Baltimore in the season series um, with a normal home run as well as Cespedes. He continues his, his MVP uh, bid, but Lagardis with four RBIs, Nemo with two, and Cabrera and Cespedes apiece. Um, for pitching, no Syndergaard pitched seven innings, giving up only three, run, uh, three hits, one run, five strikeouts, and Robles came in for the hold. So now... This is what we're going to have. We're going to have Sonny Gray against Jacob DeGrom for a Subway Series in the Bronx. Um, I was looking at all the, uh, the matchups here. I was thinking about who it should be, but I think I'm going to have Jacob DeGrom pitch again for her for my, uh, for my episodes um, because it's hell. It's New York, man. I want to start this, this uh, Subway Series off right. Take on Sonny Gray and just get out Stanton, get out um, Judge, the entire team. Um, so I hope you guys episode, enjoy this episode of my um, my franchise in New York Mets. Again, if you like what you saw, click the thumbs up button. Leave any comments below. Hope you guys have a great day. Take it easy and peace.